Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you how to plot uh, rainfall time series in Google Earth Engine using uh, Chirpus rainfall data. Uh, so let's get started. Here are step-by-step uh, -step, uh, codes and explanation of uh, what those uh, codes do. Uh, so firstly, I will, uh, I, I, I will import my uh, study area I have already uploaded uh, it in my uh, Google engine and the the name for it is up by Bezin. so I will import it okay uh, then uh, I will leave, uh, I will give the name for it as a by because uh, I have used uh, the name a by in all codes as my uh, uh, study area so this is uh, my my study area so uh, the first step is importing uh, chirpus pentad uh, rainfall data so i i declared the variable rainfall here and uh, using this uh, function i imported uh, rainfall data i, I mean uh, the cheapest data pentad data has a number of uh, 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 climate variables. I, I selected uh, only precipitation and also filtered the date from 1995 to 2001, and also uh, filtered the in my uh, filtered by my my polygon, my study area. So uh, this uh, slash shows you that the quoted slash shows you that the explanation of uh, what all these codes do. And the second step is uh, displaying rainfall time series. So uh, I use print function uh, and uh, uh, a chart function to uh, display my rainfall data for my study area using uh, this uh, code. And each code shows you that this ui.chart.image.series this is a function that creates a time series of chart for average rainfall or precipitation of our specified region. And uh, e.e dot e reducer dot mean is this is reducer uh, that reduces data to the mean value over the over the study area and over the time series. And uh, what this number shows you, uh, 1000, is this is specifies scale in meters uh, in which to analyze data and uh, print display created a chart in Google Earth console here in this in this console. So I will start uh, running my code. Uh, now I, I will explain all of the, the codes and then uh, uh, run it uh, at the end. The second step is uh, I mean. Uh, Thirdly, uh, I'm going to display a uh, seasonal variation of rainfall. Uh, I, it means uh, daily or monthly monthly variability of rainfall uh, to see the seasonal, seasonal variation of precipitation over my study area. So I use this code uh, to, to visualize it. And as I have said, uh, this is a, a, a function that plots uh, rainfall over 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 daily over daily time series okay and also uh, uh, step four is display rainfall annual variation so I use this card and uh, all of the codes what uh, they indicate or what they are going to execute they are explained here this card executes uh, or generates a chart that illustrates and uh, illustrates annual variation of rainfall by day of the year. Okay, and uh, uh, the thirdly, uh, 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 I am going to display uh, yeah, a rainfall for over my study area in a T format. Okay, for a specific year. Okay, uh, yeah, as a map, uh, and it, it could be, it can be exported as a TIFF and you can visualize in other software in other geospatial software so i use this uh, code and i am finalizing uh, i finalized all of these codes 
and also uh, explain what each line of code uh, uh, executes or does in Google Engine. And finally, I am going to uh, uh, add rainfall data of, uh, of specific year as a layer and clip it into the region of interest with a specific uh, minimum and maximum value of visualization. Okay, and uh, so uh, map to center object is uh, my, my, my my area, and then uh, visualization extent fix. Then finally, uh, I'm going to export this uh, uh, time series data as a table. Okay, or oh, as as a tiff, I mean here as a tiff, and I can visualize it in as a geospatial software. So uh, let's go to run it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a very large data set, so it takes time to uh, execute. Yes, voila. So here we can see uh, ah, yeah. Uh, here we can see a uh, 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 mean average precipitation of uh, over months here at uh, for for different uh, years. Okay, from 1996 to 2001, selected uh, time range. And uh, the second chart is uh, a daily time series for uh, for a, a one year. Okay. So this is a daily precipitation of a, uh, over 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 for for a specific year, okay. And also here, uh, as you see, uh, a num for stacked multi plot for different years, uh, average precipitation of uh, precipitation uh, plotted or in a daily basis. For, for different years. So we can uh, see us here, okay? So here is precipitation and uh, legend shows you the, uh, what multi plots this plot show. So uh, yeah, we can visualize like this, uh, the trend of uh, large uh, spatial temporal trend of uh, rainfall and other climate variables in Google Earth Engine easily and uh, uh, you can use uh, this code I will I will drop it at uh, description section the code and you can see uh, what uh, the map shows here uh, special distribution of rainfall value over my study area so this can be uh, in the task, okay? Yeah, yes. You can run this code. Yes, it is your chief and download after running the code, uh, running this, and you can download it and visualize in ArcGIS or QGIS. And what you uh, see here is a uh, special temporal variation of rainfall uh, uh, over my study area. So if you have any question you can raise in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.